2,500 years ago, they lived in the valley of Simhagad, right here, this area where you're sitting, a great rishi called Kondanya. Therefore, the Kondana is just about five miles down in the valley of Sita Mai. Some of you go for walks. How many have been to that Sita Mai valley? So right from there, coming to here is that area, and back this whole area from here, right behind that, even behind Sita Mai valley, is the area of Kondana, where Kaundanya Rishi, Kaundanya, he achieved his enlightenment. And when Buddha was enlightened, it was only six months or eight months later that Kaundanya was enlightened. So that enlightened Buddha, this is the place where he built his ashram. And now we are building our ashram here. And I, uh, I got a lamp also, which was about three to four thousand years old. We have showed you that lamp no. made of stone. Yeah. I showed it to some guys. Yeah, to me. I showed you, no? That was what for me and I got a shivling from here. And the, the ashram is built in the same place where perhaps his ashram. Those ashrams used to sprawl for miles because there was no shortage of space. We have, we have only about uh, uh, six to seven acres. That was a sprawling ashram here. And it's very, very fortunate that we have an ashram here where the enlightened Buddha had an ashram. But I think no ordinary person or even you are special people would have an ashram where an enlightened Buddha had it. Maybe he must be doing the choosing of the people who could come and build an ashram. Doesn't it make sense? So there were many Buddhas who were enlightened like Gautam the Buddha. So the yogi's enlightenment or his kaivalya is no different from Buddha's enlightenment or his nirbij samadhi is no no uh, different. Sahaj Samadhi is no different from the enlightenment. So he comes back and engages with the people. 